Hi everyone, my name is Tomasz Danos and this is Table. Today I brought you a traditional Hungarian dessert. This dessert was named after a famous Hungarian chef, Károly Gunda. Mr. Gunda is not only famous for his recipe, but there's also a well-known restaurant still open carrying his name in Budapest. Our dessert is called the Gunda Pancake. And today we will give it a little facelift. Let's get started. This dessert can be separated into two groups, the dough and the filling. For the dough, you will need flour, sugar, eggs, water and milk. And for the filling, you will need walnut and double cream. This little twist what I've talked about, the facelift, is that we will make a topping for this whole pancake. Let's start with the topping. In a jar, I combine nuts and dried fruits. After I added the nuts and the fruits, I add some sugar. Then I peel a lemon and peel an orange. After the peels are inside the jar, I add some water and then I top it up with the special Hungarikum Tokayasu. I mix them well and set aside for a while. I chose Tokai because this wine, with its sweetness, fruitiness and also acidity, enhances the flavors of our compote. Our compote was set aside, let's get started with the dough. For this task, we need flour, one egg, some water, some milk and some sugar. Traditionally, this recipe doesn't contain too much sugar, but I need to emphasize that this is a dessert, so let's put some sugar in it. Let's prepare the filling. First, we have to heat the double cream and add two tablespoons of sugar. After our filling is boiling, we can add lemon zest and orange zest if we want. In my opinion, to make the perfect pancake, Choosing the correct frying pan is key. My suggestion is to choose a non-stick one. For Hungarian people, if you hear the word pancake, we're thinking about a very thin cake, not those thick ones, what you would think of in America or in Australia. And another difference is that we fill it and then we roll it up, not just put the filling on top. Don't worry if your first pancake doesn't turn out so well, because you always need some time to experiment with the heat of the frying pan. Pancake making is one of the things that you cannot make little of. I made just enough pancakes. As I see, our pancake filling is ready. I could be making pancakes until the morning, but it's time for you to see how the complete dessert looks like. But don't worry if you have some raw dough left, because for one or two days, it can be kept in the fridge. Now, when we're over the hard part and we have our pancakes, comes the fun part, plating the dessert. As you recognized, I made a chocolate sauce. I chose a very simple way to create it. You can melt dark chocolate and mix it with a bit of cream, powdered sugar and butter. There are a million recipes for the perfect chocolate sauce. So let's start plating the pancakes. As a final step, we pour some overproof spirit on top and we flambe it. Enjoy your dessert!